added, they all sound poor to me. Kind of we won't have any music. You, like, walk, but it's like... Baby, you act like I've done catwalk shows, though. It's a bit warm. Yes, this is a baby is that mic. A little mic? Yeah. It goes. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Carnalia Kingdom proudly presents to you Volume 3. I think it's Volume 3. Shit, I don't even know. The Trash Bag Fashion Show is back. Their boxing headdress. <laughs> Shuffling around. Sounds like somebody's throwing some uppercuts back there. And oh, here we go. Here it is. Straight from Iste. Swimsuit edition. This is a little bit baggy in the back in case you gotta take a dump, I guess. And the shower cap. Shit, come out of the water. Hair still dry. You shit in your pants, you're good to go. I don't know, it's kind of screamed aunt in the front and grandma in the back. I'd definitely pick her up. Reasons or disclaimers. Sponsored by Hefty, the king of trash. Here we go! She's back rocking the red wig. She's upgraded from Karen glasses to Karen's sister. And she borrowed her sister's skirts. I don't know, I kind of got Moana vibes. But Moana from like the south portion of Detroit like the place you would not want to drive through that was Moana in the hood where if you cross her path you might lose your wallet don't wear your Rolex around that one maybe it'll be an emo outfit I don't know and here we go I was correct emo what is this? An evening gown. Emo evening gown. Donned with the gray duct tape. Can I get another spin and roundabout over here? She's got the glasses on. She looks like Karna. The cartoon Karna. Actually. With the thought fuzzy ears. She's got the blonde. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say this is little baby emo Karna. In the emo evening gown. Thank you. Back Rambo, that's another good one. that we're gonna go with Rambo this is Rambo kid Rambo I don't know kid Rambo 1999 I think she took my wallet actually 
Whew. Thinking like poison tip darts. Oh my god! It is the Norwegian female Monopoly woman. Uh, Mr. Pennybags, meet your dream, Mrs. Nickelbags. Oh, no, 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 walk that one out again. We gotta see that one more time. Look at the top hat and all. We got a monocle super glued to the upper left eyebrow. That shit's gonna take off a layer or two of eyebrow lash. Uh, uh, uh. And it's got a little dangly thing coming off of it. Yeah, nice. A tie, we got a tie and a hanky in the pocket. That is a work of art right there. Wow. The work, the dedication that these girls have put into these outfits. Jesus. Oh, wow. Give us a little spin. What is the dangling thing? Is that like a scarf? Is that a cape? Quarter cape? Mmm, rocket. Step back a little bit. Right there. There we go. You see the clear underlying of the dress there. She's got the little chest piece. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, it was a scarf. I was right. Blowing kisses to all you 10-year-olds out there, I guess. And you better not blow anything back, because I'm her dad. I think she's choking Karna with the scarf back there. Something about a wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> Here we go. We've got I baby 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 rainbow in a hefty swimsuit across the back, little skirt. Looks like she's about to have a Karen moment. Something about not having your dog on a leash. Oh, she's rocking the new necklace her dad just bought her. She doesn't really care, and she's out. We've got live ammunition still on the dance floor, the, the runway here. Hopefully nobody... Shall we begin? she punked Karna out in the back because I haven't seen Karna in the last, I don't know, five uh, debuts. Oh, I was wrong. Here we go. I don't know what you call this outfit, but it looks like it might be uh, a little risky for our terms of service here on Twitch. Family flap. Hey, we just had a wardrobe malfunction. Sorry, boys and girls. We have to end the stream right now. Uh, we're going to send you over to uh, somebody 13 plus playing Minecraft because... Jesus. Here we go. We got the shield maiden on a hefty budget. Notice the shield in the front will deflect all blows from broad axes, long swords, pikes, and maybe a halberd. Okay, a halberd might be stretching it. She's got the gun. She's flexing. She's rocking the Rocky Maivia hairdo. She's got the Karna. Thought glasses from 1922. Oh, it's like a coverall suspender Mario pant in the back. She does not want to leave the stage. She said, I own this shit. Make me get off. And she pushed Karna in the back. Oh my god, yeah. Well, Kuka's out. <clears throat> This is the most revealing one yet. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, the Hefty Huda. We will call that one Hefty Huda. 
<laughs> oh my god, not safe for work or anywhere. Am I right? <laughs> oh, here we go, Gunslinger P! Put him up! Oh, ah! She got me. <clears throat> we got the cowboy western hat. We got the six shooter on her hip. She's got the chest protector vest. She's got her chaps. They're made of plastic. They're not going to do much to save her. But, uh, ask yourself one thing, chat. Do you feel lucky? And she's going to do a barrel roll to leave the stage. Tips her hat, and she's out. She just robbed the bank, stole your horses, hijacked the train. In style. Damn. Made her father proud with that one. You heard of Billy the Kid? Yeah, I don't really have anything to go with that. It's Natasha the Kid. Baby P the Kid. Right, that was a good one. Round of applause. That barrel roll at the end just showed how functional this, these outfits are. A little trashy show, but I like it. That's right, we've been going for a solid hour and 15 minutes, and here we are with the next one. The little Aussie black sabbish trash bag. Just picking them up because I forgot the belt in the dressing room. Somebody's probably going to get fired for that one tonight. Slinging the hair back and forth like Willow Smith. Hands on the hip, blowing a kiss. Stop doing that, little girl. Duct tape covering her bum. I think she might have pooped herself. Yeah, Ozzy Osbourne, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grand finale, boys. They just fired everybody backstage. To hell with you all, we do it ourselves. All I know is we have a fire extinguisher in the corner if things go a little screwy. The show must go on indeed. Even if Karna had a five hour pizza going right now in hour number six, we'd still have this show. Just have to get a little low. Get under the smoke cloud. Wow. Look at this Chad walking out here right now. Got a little Pepe Le Pew mustache going on right now. Kind of sick and dirty. Little... I don't know, French uh, barista, met the rock, had a kid. I don't know if I want her to take my baguettes out of the oven. Paint me a picture. Paint, paint me a Birmingham, maybe. 70s style, yeah, it's pretty, uh, got a big bow in the back. Come back out. Oops. Oh, shit, kid down. <clears throat> Bob Ross. Barista and The Rock got together on that one. I want to say that last song is very fitting for that last outfit. A combination I never knew we needed. I just hope that wasn't permanent marker. I'm not traveling back on a plane with her if she looks like that. Look at this outfit right here. Never mind, it's over. Let's have a round of applause for both our runway models. The red corner, the blue corner. Oh my god, I can't. It's inside. <laughs> Can you just click on Karna? Karna? Where? Yeah, like, I just want to see her close up. This one? Yeah. Whoa. There's the announcer. <laughs> like, look, show the side. The sideburns, just like the rock. Oh, thank you, guys. Blue. Oh! It's because it's real beard. I died so much trying to put that on. <laughs> Thanks, Malcolm. <laughs> you Great job, ladies. Great job. Thank you. All right. Oh! So quick, yeah, I was helping her a bit, but oh my god, can I? No, oh, okay. <laughs> we got the Jason Momoa hairstyle. Huh? Because you all was just in a one pile, you know? Yeah, that was not the one. <laughs> Jokes, Melko, <Melbourne. laughs> Okay, I'll take this one. I call that one. Oh, it's so pretty. 
you have some of your red hair on the floor. <laughs>